Hey, Soul MCA here. Will you look who it is? And I'm taking a break from the tutorial videos and the funny videos to bring you a little something different today. And someone might be saying, seems like you've taken a break from pretty much everything. To which my response is chill, jeez. Chill, chill, stop being so petty. All right, so I wanna to talk to you today about studio monitors, all right? Maybe some of you are out there like me, you're trying to build up your home studio and you are looking for some monitor stands to put your monitors on. Now, this video is gonna be a, a, a review of sorts, a very brief review. Really, I kind of wanna talk a little bit more about the process of putting sand inside these particular monitor stands. So I'm talking about the DR Pro Studio Monitor Stands. These stands are 36 inches in height and they come in two colors. They come in maple wood and they come in black. I have the black ones. Now I'll be showing pictures throughout this presentation. Not sure where I'm gonna put them, so I won't say here or here, but if you see them up on the screen, obviously there's pictures. So long story short, uh, I was putting together or obtaining some items to put together my home studio. And I actually stopped by a guitar center one day and I really wasn't looking to purchase anything. I had my eyes on these studio monitors, the Yamaha HS8s. And I went into the store and I saw that they were cheaper than the prices that I've been doing research on. So immediately I, I went to the young lady and I asked, you know, what's the price difference? I see one is, is marked down significantly more than the other. And she couldn't figure out why and I couldn't figure out why. So I purchased them. Now I probably will put a picture in here. I noticed later when I opened them why there were two different prices. So I ended up with two different color studio monitors. Now that's not her fault. You know, I was going through the boxes. Uh, I saw both sets of boxes and took one from one side because the box looked like it was in good shape and took uh, another box from the other side because that looked like it was in good shape thinking that they were the same. But I ended up with two different colored uh, studio monitors. That's fine. We just gonna say that's the style, okay? Uh, and so I was about to leave and I noticed these studio monitors against the wall and I, I saw the price and currently uh, I did a quick Google search. I believe Musician, Musicians Friends has the same studio monitors on sale for, or are on sale for $150, not actually there being a sale. They're priced at $150. I did not pay that much for them. I paid a significantly less than that. And so I brought them home and I've seen a lot of people put them together. They're very easy to assemble. You're going to get an instruction, some assembly instructions that'll look something like this. And you'll also get a bag or two bags with a number of items in them that will look like this. Uh, included will be an Allen key and you shouldn't really need any other tools outside of that outside of what I'm going to explain to you as far as putting the sand in them. Uh, now, very easy to put together. I'd give it that a, a, a 10 out of 10 as far as ease goes. Uh, they look great, but I my monitors, I wanted to make sure that they were secured. Very expensive purchase. And I heard a lot of people in the, the other videos that I watched showing you how to assemble them and talking about them saying, you know, you don't need to put sand in them, they're fine. Uh, and they are fairly sturdy, but I wanted to make sure that these heavy studio monitors were protected. And so I would say that these, and I actually did weigh them, these monitors without the sand come in at about 13 pounds, maybe 12.8 pounds each. Uh, I wanted to get that up to about 20 pounds to secure my um, studio monitors. Now, there's not a lot of videos out there that show how to get sand in them, so I'm going to show you how to do that now, and we'll transition, and I'll do kind of a talk over, and we'll speed through the portions where you're just going to have to watch me put some sand in them. But overall, they look great. They stand up. Um, I'm going to assume they stand the test of time. It's kind of a set it and forget it thing. I really do love these monitor stands, and this video is not endorsed by DR. So first, let's talk about what you're going to need. You're going to need a funnel of some sort. 
I got this particular funnel as a three-piece set from the dollar store or the dollar 25 store. Save yourself some money. We'll pay attention to the opening. Get yourself a flathead screwdriver. You want to make sure that your flathead screwdriver can go through the bigger of the two circles as such with no resistance. The reason you want a bigger circle is so when we place the funnel on top of the stand or on top of the bigger circle, you have to hold it to support it. As opposed to a smaller funnel where it will go inside of the hole, you do not want that where it can stand up on its own. It does not allow the sand to travel as smoothly as it does a funnel with a larger hole. So it's better to use a funnel with a slightly larger hole that is bigger than the hole that you're trying to get the sand into. So the first thing you're going to do is go and get your sand. I'm going to use a Gatorade bottle here. I'm just taking sand out of a bigger, uh, bigger pile of sand I got from Home Depot for approximately $4. And you're going to take that sand and you're just going to fill up your funnel. And once you've filled your funnel with sand, as seen here, you're going to take your flathead screwdriver and you are going to push the sand down the funnel into the opening. Now, a note that I want you to be aware of is the larger hole and the smaller hole. The instructions say that you're putting the sand in the larger hole. I thought that there was a separate compartment. Later on, I discovered that they are both going to the same place. And the compartment, which I will show you a picture of here, there is a, a tube that runs all the way down the length of the these pillars that you can fill or need to fill with sand, as you can see depicted here. So you need to fill up that entire thing with sand in order to get them where you want them. When I was done or when I was com completed this task, the stands went from approximately 12.8, 13 pounds all the way up to about 18.9, 9.1. Still had a little bit of space and you could probably pack a little bit more sand into them, but that's what I ended up with. Uh, again, I said these st stands are very sturdy, but they did feel a little uh, light towards the top, um, kind of bottom heavy without the sand, so I'm very glad that I put the stand in, although I'm sure they would have held my speakers up regardless, but again, I wanted this to be sturdy. Now this job did take a long time. It took approximate, it took days. Uh, I would say for every four funnels worth of sand that you push into uh, the rods, every four, every four fills is about a pound, all right? Now you figure if I went from 13 to about 19 pounds on each side, that's uh, let's say about 12 each side, okay? So it did take a, a while and obviously it got quicker as I went. The first one took the longest because I was just measuring. I kept filling and measuring to, to try to get to that target of 20 pounds. And then I discovered, oh, the side fills up completely. Then I had an idea of better how quickly I could go because there was actually uh, only a, a finite amount of sand that you could put inside of these monitor stands. And I'm gonna tell you, you don't know patience and you don't know pain until you have to go through this process. It takes quite a bit of time. Now I'm speeding it up here, but in real time, I'd say just this one uh, filling of the funnel took approximately 15 minutes to get all of that sand out from inside the funnel down within. Uh, the sand packs in pretty good. I think I used playground sand here. Uh, packs in pretty good so it doesn't just go down into the funnel like you see in those hourglasses. You, you got to shove it in there. Uh, and then sometimes it gets stuck completely and you really have to push and break through to get all the way through it uh, and get that sand to, to go all the way through. Don't mind the jacket here. It was a little bit of a, a chilly day. Uh, but I'm definitely glad I did this. And I wanted to, of course, again, make the video so that others could see 
how long it takes, the process to do it, because there was no information out there as to how to get this done. And hopefully, if nothing else, I can save you some time. Uh, and if you would like to secure your monitor stands, you now have a better idea as to how to go about doing so. You're free to continue to stay and, and see uh, if this time lapse hasn't finished already to see how long that takes real time. But you now have a much better idea as to how long this takes and what the process is. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Soul MCA. I'll see you next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.